Hello everyone, this is Dark Wolf 533 bringing you with a Life is Strange game. Alright. So, I don't have the, this DLC right here called Snap Story. I'll get it eventually, but I want to see how well this game is first. I, I've heard the game is pretty good. Better than Life is Strange 2. So, let us delve into this. It looks kind of promising, I hope. So, Alex, a day's finally here. You've been at the Helping Hands group home for eight years. We've been through a lot in that time. We have. And now you're finally leaving to live with your brother. My brother Gabe. It says here he lives in Haven Springs, Colorado. Is that correct? That's a big move. Do you have any plans as far as school or a job? My brother said I might pick up a few shifts at the bar he works at. So you'd be dealing with people. Maybe. Does your brother know about your issues? Is that an official interview question, Dr. Lynn? Alex, you know that I care about you. With everything that has happened, I just want what's best for you. He doesn't know. No one will once I leave this place. I'll just be a normal girl in a normal town. Gabe said to meet him at the bridge. I can't wait to see him. Also, also, are we playing? Yeah. This look like a pretty cool town. Peaceful. I don't really see how this can be a more open world. Like, if I promise, but I guess I'll find out later. Scenery is nice. Take me away to some place real. 
Cause they say home is where your heart is set up Just always where you go when you are alone It's where you go to rest your bones It's not just where you lay your head It's not just where you make your bed As long as we're together does the universe where we go So when I'm ready to be bold, I put my cards out of view of the tide. Comfort will rest on my shoulder, and I'll bury my future behind. I'll always keep you with me, you'll be always on my mind. But there's a shining in the shadows, and I'll never know unless I try. With every small disaster, I'll let the water still take me away to some place real. Cause they say all is where your heart is headed. Star is where you go when you're alone. Is where you go to rest your bones. It's not just where. Just where you make your bed As long as we're together Doesn't matter where we go Alex! Oh. I'm smart. Holy shit. That's really him. <laughs> oh. What's the protocol for reuniting with your long lost sister after eight years? Oh shit, um, I don't know, hug? I'm cool with the hug if you are. <laughs> oh, is crushing my ribs still part of the protocol? <laughs> it's just so good to see you again. I can't believe you're here. Believe it. She's all grown up. And I missed it. I'm a lot taller, huh? Yeah. Time will do that to you. Are you ready to see the town? Yeah. I'm just a little nervous. You should be. 
This reunion's being filmed. <laughs> okay, the uh, Black Lantern is just up the street. I mentioned I live above a bar, right? Even better. How was the trip? You must be wiped. I'm good. The drive through the mountains was amazing. Eleanor, hey, Alex just got here. Alex, meet Eleanor Leif, owner of the flower shop, and honest to God, royalty of Haven Springs. Oh, it is so nice to finally meet you. Welcome. Oh. We are so glad to have you, Alex. Gabe told us all about you. I'm glad to be here. She seems nice. Yeah, she's great. A little quick on the draw with hugs, though. Yeah, no shit. Welcome to Haven. Is this the first official stop on the tour? Absolutely. If you follow me inside, you'll find a prize exhibit. Gabe Chen buys makeup flowers for angry girlfriend. Oh, I can't wait. It's gotten so so reviews. <laughs> hey, Gabe. Riley, meet my sister, Alex. What's your greatest weakness? Uh, what? It's for a college interview. We've been debating this one for days. Gabe insists that I give an honest answer. It's always better to give an honest answer. And what's the alternative? Lying? Not lying, more like strategic half-truthing. Like, I work too hard or I save too many puppies. They could smell that bullshit a mile away. I've been trying to warn her. Oh yeah? What would you do? I don't actually know him. I guess be honest and hope for the best. I would be honest. It's usually harder, but then you come off as more authentic. Called it. Wow. You two are already wonder twinning your way through town. Seems that way. <laughs> Alex, help me out real quick. What do I get for Charlotte? Sunflowers are her favorite. But I read online that Lily of the Valley is great for saying sorry. What do you think? Oh shit, there's a, a lot of dialogue in Life is Strange too. Oh shit, uh... What uh, exactly are you apologizing for? This time around? Maybe the toilet seat? <laughs> <laughs> Um, let's go with that. Go with the white bouquet. If you're trying to say sorry. That I am, and that I will. You know, if Mac brought me flowers half as often, well, he wouldn't be Mac. Is this still on and off with you two? Sort of. More on right now, but wait five minutes and ask again. <laughs> Put this on my tab? Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to just tell Mac about the interview? No, not yet. I'll handle it. Okay, your call. We can I'm, leave when you're ready. How the hell do you Sounds have a good. tab in a flower shop? Just wondering. Might as well have a look around before we leave. How to Kill Everything You Touch. A flower book by... Alex Chen. Okay. Does anyone actually sit in the decorated store chair? Okay. 
I hope Charlotte likes the lilies. The tiny house movement is really taking off. Okay. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do I? When I saw the option, I know I had to do it. Perfect. That guy's bad to the gnome. Right? I heard he won the Nobel Peace Prize. Oh god, please stop. No problem. <laughs> okay, I might actually like this game more than Mandatory. Life is Strange Any 2. Enchanted Garden. Aw, I wonder who they are. Probably her fucking parents, that's you. Cute, right? Yeah. Are those your grandparents? No. But they were like family. Oh. Alistair and Ava Murphy. Nana bought the building from them before I was born. Let's talk Hopefully to you. Hopefully my advice doesn't derail oh. her entire life. Okay. I'm sure it's fine. I guess I can talk to you. Can I go? Thank you. Do I just get to the door? Oh, no category for estranged brother you haven't seen in eight years because you were ripped apart by the foster care system? That's a shame. So I feel concerned why she was in foster care. It... Let's just leave. Ready. Thanks. See you soon, Rai. Oh shit, no one can How long have you and Charlotte been dating? About three years now, I think. You must spend a lot of money on bouquets. She's worth it. Watch your feet now. It's getting windy. My feet are fine. Oh but shit! I don't want you to fall. You need stable feet. Only 200,000 grand for that house? Hey, don't get snippy with me, pal. Can I live here? Well, here we are. Wow. Good to know. Well, okay. Is this the place? Silver Dragon. What did you think of the show? Local beekeeper breaks state record for total number of bees. I will be looking. Stop the presses. I will be hey, looking for Easter eggs. How many bees do you have? Uh, last time I checked, like, zero bees. Alright. Uh, I bet Gabe keeps the I... flower shop in business all by himself. Okay. There we go. Gabe Chen. Flower delivery man. I know, right? Let me duck in here and smooth everything out. It'll only be a minute. I'll introduce you properly later. Once, you know. It's no problem, really. It's going to be longer than a minute. Trust me. Oh, hi there. Gabe's your brother, right? I'm Ethan. Charlotte's my mom. Hi, Ethan. I'm Alex. What you reading? Ninth Warden. Oh, has she found the Scepter of Serenity yet? She's looking for the Scepter, but I think she'll need the Bangle of Vanishing to get to it. I wanted to turn invisible so bad when I was a kid. Still do sometimes, to be honest. You can get away with anything if you're invisible. And no one can stop you. If you like comics, I can show you the one I'm making. I'd love to see it. You can keep it if you want. 
I made a bunch of copies to sell in the record store. This is awesome, Ethan. I can't wait to read it. Are you going camping? You know the mines? I know they exist. There are a bunch of old tunnels all around the mountains. I think I found a way into one. I mean, I'm not an expert on old mines, but that would scare the crap out of me. I just like to explore sometimes. It's no big deal. Aw, oh, man. I shouldn't have told you that. Oh, shit. Um. He said old mines, so be careful. I know we just met, but be careful out there, okay? You don't need to work. Really. I think I'll check out that record store. Nice meeting you, Ethan. I guess I'm all be waiting for uh, Gabe. Alright. That's cool, I guess. Also, why is a record store of all places? You got a whole town and she just said come here. Oh, wow. This place reminds me of the shop Gabe and I used to go to. <laughs> He'd save up for weeks from his shitty car wash job just to buy us something to listen to. It's crazy. Here I am, years later, still waiting for my big brother in the record store. Except this time, I'm buying the record. No way. Oh, uh... Citizens of Haven Springs, that was the Wednesday with Bomb Squad. Up next, a very special request from some chick. Sorry, the store's actually closed right now, which is confusing because it's obviously open. Wait. Are you Alex? That's me. Wow. Gabe's been talking about you coming since... forever. I'm Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Nice to meet you. So, all the way from Portland, huh? What do you think of Haven? I've seen some cool things so far. Like, this record store is amazing. I didn't expect anything like this here. Yep, it's a cultural landmark for sure. So, the store is closed, but they opened it just for you? You must be picking up something pretty important. Yeah, well, you could say that. An outdoorsman's guide to the calls of common birds. Wow, that's... Not what I was expecting at all. It's a pretty obscure record. 
<laughs> the National Park Service gave it five stars. <laughs> so you're a... Colorado State Park Ranger. It's all coming into focus. Well, bummer the store's closed. I was thinking of getting a gift for Gabe, but I'll figure something else out. I don't even know if he still listens to records. He does. Charlotte just got him a record player for his birthday. I'm pretty sure he put something on hold. So you don't work here? Steph won't mind. It'll be the easiest sale she's ever made. If I could just find the whole list. Hmm. <laughs> Damn. I know I saw it before. Want to help me look? Oh, yeah. Any ideas on where to start? Man. No idea. It's definitely stuff all over the place. Man, I would not trust this guy in my own house. Also, what's happening? Okay, that's cool. Did she write that? Or did Alice literally just block her number? That'd be interesting. Go for it, Chelsea. Gabe's record is in here, but which one is it? Oh. How the fuck am I supposed to? Oh shit. Uh, over here? <laughs> very small town. Alright. Just hang it. I don't think it's dead, but let's find out. Oh. Alright, that's enough of listening. Let's let's get back to the gameplay. I'm detecting an indie pattern. Okay. A uh, seriously obscure indie pattern. <laughs> Man, this is a Nice album right here. Color me impressed. Get! Wait. Is that the hold list? Hey, kitty. I'm the movie. Don't freak out. I'm just gonna. Okay, just kidding. Oh. I'm surprised you got out of there with both your hands. Thing is, she's sitting on the hold list. We could use your toy to lure her away. If we can find her. Give me a hand. I love that this town has their own radio station. Hey, drums. Is it wrong that the note makes me want to touch it more? <laughs> Damn, I actually want to now. This could have some consequence, can it? Are you trying to die? <laughs> I wanted to see what would happen. <laughs> You're just lucky Steph's behind a soundproof wall. Hey, luck or not, I've officially cheated death. Perpetual motion. Oh my fucking god. Looks exhausting. That's cool. Hey, clarinet. How do I get a rich Polish clarinetist to buy me things? You don't. Alright, where the fuck is this toy? Uh. 
Oh, Good luck finding that cat toy. Not yet. So, what's the prediction? What do you think Gabe listens to these days? I think Gabe's gotten so emo that he doesn't like instruments anymore. Just dudes screaming and crying into the microphone. Dear God, let's hope not. <laughs> well, there's only one way to find out. Let's see if we can find that cat toy. I take fucking offense to that. Fucking rude. Maybe that drawer? It could be Celine Dion's greatest hits. You mean the essential Celine Dion? I'm sorry. She is a Canadian treasure. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't listen to fucking records. Mm, nothing. So I don't, I don't understand some of this. Looks like a toy could live here. What if he exclusively listens to Smash Mouth? Wait for it. Cover bands. Ugh. I disown him. <laughs> Damn. Um, what about in there? Maybe in the junk box. Huh. And we have a winner. Good guess. <laughs> the all is running out of places to guess. Be safe out there. If I die a horrible cat-related death, tell Gabe I'm sorry. Hey, kitty. I got a toy for you. <laughs> Who's the superior mammal now? Oh, this is cute. All right. <laughs> Good idea. Thanks. For a guy who lives in the woods, I'm pretty good at this customer service thing. Oh wait, let's see you. Uh, I'm guessing it's the bottom one. Should've known. Wait, seriously? Gabe and I used to listen to records together all the time. We'd forget about the world and rock out for hours. You gotta tell me what Gabe was like as a kid. Any ammunition you can give me? Actually, he was a pretty badass older brother. He smoked cigarettes, which at the time I thought was awesome. And he somehow managed to get his first tattoo when he was 12. Damn. The legend only grows. All right, you're looking at 20 even. No, no way. I can't believe you're doing this no. again. Come on. Do you have any idea how much time I put into this? You just... No, dude. I can't come over there. I'm working. <sighs> it's called a job. Maybe you'd understand if you ever had... I can watch the boost if you gotta get out of here. Hey, hold, hold on a sec. Are you serious? Well, you have a playlist, right? I think I can handle that. You're a lifesaver. Oh. No bird calls, though. I'll be there, one sec. <sighs> Organizing a LARP shouldn't be this hard. Are you okay? Sorry. I was just a little thrown for a moment. Thanks. You got it. Ah, 
Somehow I knew I'd find you in here. Things went well with Charlotte? Thanks to your help. I can't wait for you guys to meet. I think you'd be great friends. Speaking of, my two favorite people in my favorite place. What have you guys been up to? Just looking around. This place is pretty sweet. Every time I'm in here, it reminds me of you. I'm not surprised you like it. Anyway, I'm glad you two met. Not only is this dude my best friend, he's the best guide to Haven you could ever find. And this dude hands me the best beers? <laughs> By the way, Mac was in here earlier, and uh, he really wants to talk to you. He knows where to find me. Anyway, my shift starts in 20. Ready to go? Take along? I'll catch up. I got a radio show to host. All right, Steph is still the same nerdy, nerdy girl I met in Life is Strange 1. All right, cool. Yes, I know, that's her. I should check in. Do you mind? Again? No, yeah, of course. What up, Monster Slayer Thanor? Hey. One week to the LARP, you stoked? Hell yeah. Had a boy. No, we gotta talk road trips next. It's a long drive to Denver. Are we driving with Steph? We'll see. She's a GM, so she's gotta be in Denver pretty early. What are you doing tonight? Mom says I'm supposed to stay at the Lantern until she gets off work. But I kind of want to hang out at home. Is that okay? Do you, man. <laughs> but I'm going to check that homework later tonight, though. You better be done, Capiche. Capiche, good to meet you. Yeah, same. See you around. So weird seeing you do the dad thing. Dad thing? No, 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 no. No, I'm better than a dad. I'm like dad plus. <laughs> what the fuck did that mean? We trust each other. He tells me stuff he doesn't even tell Char. Ethan didn't tell Gabe about going to explore the old mine. He trusted me to keep his secret. Should I? Or should I blow his cover? Uh, I don't think I should keep that secret. He's going to the old mines. Uh, I should probably tell you something. Shoot. Earlier when Ethan and I were talking, he mentioned exploring some old mine. Oh, man. He seemed like he knew what he was doing, but I thought you'd want to know. <laughs> this fucking kid. I'm going to tell Charlotte. Just give me a sec. Ooh, Ethan's in trouble. Really? We'll see. I appreciate you telling me. Y you did the right thing. What do you say we get you settled in? All right, I was not expecting that. I was hoping he would actually talk some sense into him. But oh well. So? This is what a mining town looks like. Thought there'd be more guys in overalls running around. With soot all over their faces? Exactly. What do they mine here, though? Used to be silver back in the day. And now? Uranium. They blow these big holes in the mountains and sell it off to nuclear power plants. Oh. Yeah. We'll actually be able to hear a blast later tonight. It's pretty intense. Sounds like it. Look who it is. Jed. Hey, got someone I want you to meet. Alex, this is my buddy Jed. Buddy hell, will you listen to this horse shit? His bossy means. You own the Black Lantern. For the last 12 years or so. It's good to meet you, Alex. Heard a hell of a lot about you. Oh? Only bad stuff. Mostly lies. Your brother's full of shit. You know that? <laughs> 
he just about wet himself waiting for you to get here. I was excited to see him too. Guess we're an almost wet yourself kind of family. Ha! I like her. Yeah, she's okay, I guess. We're heading in. You coming? Uh, in a minute. Supposed to meet Eleanor to talk spring festival decorations. Did he tell you about the festival yet? Not in detail. I'll fill you in later. You do not want to get this guy started. I'm loquacious, goddammit. It's charming. Oh, before you leave, word of warning. Max got that old bug up his ass again. So I've heard. Yeah. So just, you know, eyes open. Anyway, you guys go settle. Alex, pleasure. I'll mind, Jed. So, spring festival equals mountain prom. It's a lot cooler than it sounds. Not possible. I'm picturing some straight-up wicker man shit. Oh, you've been before. Shit, man. This is all yours? Don't sound so surprised. When you said that you had a nice place, I was picturing small but homey. Well then, welcome to my crib. <laughs> Seriously, this is great. And the best part is, it's actually yours. I'm mostly staying at Charlotte's now. What exactly do you mean, this is mine? It's this thing where people have places they live. We call them homes. I mean it. I want you to have a fresh start here. Gabe, I, thank you. You got it. Just promise me you don't throw too many keggers at end surprise fires. And Jed will kill me if that happens again. Sure thing. <laughs> Didn't we already do the whole staring at me thing? It's just, you look a lot like how I imagine you'd be. Yeah? Do I look how you expected? I honestly didn't expect you to have a beard. Oh, they didn't tell you? When you move to Colorado, you automatically get an amazing beard, a pretentious knowledge of craft beers, and a Subaru. Funny, I didn't get any of those things. Don't worry, I will stop at nothing to get you your very own Colorado welcome kit. <laughs> Good, cause I actually got you something. Wait, what? Surprise. Wait, is this, this is the album I requested. I know, I'm good. I was gonna get this for you. Well, I got it for you first, so I get the credit.
can't get over this. Feels just like old times. Oh no. Stop that. I can't. It's too late. Go get him, bro. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Lifetime of practice. <laughs> Your turn. Just give me a sec. Yeah. Hey, Mac. Can I help you? Something's wrong. I read Riley's phone. I know you've been meeting with her behind my back. It's not what you think, Mac. Oh, good. Because I thought you were fucking my girlfriend. Dude, I promise you've got it all wrong. Tell me why I shouldn't kick your ass right uh, now. No. No, 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 not here. It's not my place, man. You really need to talk to your girlfriend. I'm talking uh, to you. Gabe, I didn't... Hey, it's okay. You're just a fucking psycho. You could both go fuck yourselves. I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it. Fuck. Wait, Gabe. Alex. It's fine. I gotta go stop my shift. Great. I feel bad now. I... What, was I supposed to do that? I don't know. I don't know. Guess I'll find out later.
I'm okay. Also, I thought that guy was hiding in the bathroom for some reason. I'm okay. I'm okay. I guess I might as well unpack. Oh shit. How the fuck do you have my number? How the fuck do you have my number? What? I gave you none of my numbers. How? None of you have my fucking phone number. Where is it? Oh god. Shushu's gonna look so grungy on this nice bed. She's gotten me through some hard times, but I was hoping we were done with that. Man. Ethan's really talented. Yeah, too bad I fucking snitched on him. Oh well. Oh, do we have outfits we can wear? Check. Uh. So they just reskin? Yes, they are. All right. Um. All right. That's cool. What's actually in here? Can I open this? Thanks. Alex. Do I want to know? Uh, no. Guess I kind of gave Gabe the runaround, huh? Of course. Also, the game just told me I can hold, like, mouse. Oh, wait, let's see here. So Gabe and Riley have been working on her interview, and Mac thought they were sleeping together? This is fucking stupid. <sighs> Alright. Just two guys helping one girl with her college interview, I guess? Or homework, whatever it was. Yeah, that is. I never heard back from Sydney. I hope she's okay. Who the fuck is Sydney? At least she cared. More than I can say for most. I really wish those meds had worked. Chelsea. The rare bright spot from my time in the group home. Who the fuck is Chelsea? Too bad I would never find out. Right. Thank you. Crazy how much we've changed. No way. You have the same photo. Yeah, he does. Guess Gabe didn't cut out our parents. How mature. Look at them. Mom's healthy. Dad's only kind of an asshole. All right. So much shit. What do you have? My journal. 
time to add my latest meltdown. Oh, it's just like the Life is Strange 2 thing with the drawing notebook. Oh, shit. Okay. Ugh. I'll finish this later. You lazy. No fucking way. Well, Alex, you just went nuts and beat the shit out of somebody in front of your brother. So, how are you feeling right now? When you were here before, I could have looked you in the eye. Dressed like an angel Your skin makes me cry You float like a feather In a beautiful world I wish I was special You're so very special But I'm a creep I'm a weirdo What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here Whatever makes you happy Whatever you want You're so very special God, I wish I was special But I'm a creep I'm a weirdo What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong I don't belong here. You and your damn surprises, Gabe. Being here is too good to be true. I'm not gonna let anything mess it up. I should go downstairs and set things right with Gabe. Okay. Is there anything I need to do here? What the hell? I know a kick to the drywall crack when I see one. But I wasn't red. That's gonna be important. Hold on.
just want to look around a fair bit. Can I go upstairs? No? Okay. That's good. So I'm guessing the end of this episode will be this festival thing. I don't know, I could just be wrong. Who knows? Brian, just forget it. Stop that. You need to take care of yourself. You got Mac patched up. Let's take a look at you now. Oh, looks pretty nasty right about here. <laughs> so, it hurts when you breathe? Alex, you made it. Charlotte, right? I'm sorry you had to see that fight. What a terrible first impression. Dad, I'm taking Gabe to the station. We need a first aid kit that doesn't predate the discovery of bacteria. It's fine. I don't need to go. Well, Ryan knows what he's doing now. You just go with him. Alex, I'll be back soon, okay? Okay. Well, there goes my bartender and my backup bartender. I love that. It's a falling star? Yeah. Or rising. Depends on the day, I guess. So... What's it doing today? Wow. <laughs> I don't know. Today's been a roller coaster so far. I can't imagine. I heard Ethan gave you an issue of his comic. He obviously thinks you're really cool. I know literally nothing about kids, but he seems like one of the good ones. I appreciate that. He's my favorite person. <laughs> By the way, thanks for telling us about the mine. Ethan's not allowed up there anymore. Yeah, no problem. I hope you won't be mad at me. You did the right thing. Beef pie special. Watch the gravy. Jed, you didn't have to. Now, Ryan said you're skipping dinner. No starving artists on my watch. I do have to get going. I'm making some pieces for the spring festival and they have to be done tonight. Sorry I couldn't talk longer. Oh, that's okay. So glad you're here, Alex. I'm looking forward to getting to know you. Yeah, same. Bye, thanks for supper. Yep. So I'm short-staffed at the moment. Gabe tells me you've worked at a restaurant before. A couple years' experience as a server? Uh... Maybe not as long as that. But yeah, I've done lots of things. You want to work a shift? See if you might like it here? Sure. All right. So, we have a few folks that need checking on. Ducky and Diane over there. Steph over here. Uh, there's a table in the back that needs clearing also. You can give the food orders to me, and I'll handle anyone here at the bar. All right? Got it. It's really nice to have you here, Alex. Thanks. Oh, shit. I guess I'm a server now. Let's see how this goes. Thanks, Gabe. This is a service. Can I get you to anything? Miss Chan, here at hey. last to relieve our suspense. Hi. I am Reginald McAllister, the third, ducky to friends, former entrepreneur, now retired. And this young woman is Diane. Hey there. Nice to meet you. I didn't realize. Uh, that we all knew 
you were coming. Yes, Gabe is generous with both friendship and information. Of course, you're he from is. Portland, right? I moved here from DC six months ago. How are you finding the small town thing? Um, kind of bizarre, to be honest. I've been here one day. Not fucking and I've really. I've hit my hug quota for the year. <laughs> She's funny. Diane is a geologist, recently working as a process manager for Typhon Mining. I'm glad there's another newbie around here, too. Can I get you anything? Oh, yeah, we're super hungry. I'd love a pie special with fries. Cheeseburger with mushrooms. And my usual to drink. Jet will know what to do. All right, I'll go put that order in. Thanks. Please tell me I don't remember I that. Behind that mountain man beard. Jed's so obviously a sweet. Hey, Jed. Yeah. I've got an order from Ducky and Diane. Please don't remember. Please Go don't ahead. remember. <laughs> Fuck. Uh. Burger with mushrooms? One burger with mushrooms. I, I don't think he said cheeseburger. Uh huh. And? Pie special with fries. One pie special with fries. Ducky asked for his usual? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he's fond of a particular rye whiskey. I keep a personal bottle for him. What oh, kind man? I don't see it. Oh, now wait. I bet Ducky took that bottle upstairs last night. Uh, he and Gabe went on carousing long after closing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Serves him right, if you ask me. But feel free to go upstairs and look for him. I'm sure he'd be grateful. Oh, if you can't find it, Deputy Pike was with him. He might have some idea. He's usually in here around now. Probably arriving soon. Isn't this game supposed to be like, uh... There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. Yeah, that's nice. Um, isn't this game supposed to be like a murder mystery or some shit? Typhon's not a bad company once you get used to how they operate. Right. Oh. Yeah, that's what people keep telling me. Shit. Take some minutes on the ropes, then. Can I... Huh? Oh! Starting over from scratch like yeah. this? Yes. Fucking terrifying is what it is. You're wow. telling me. <laughs> Idiosyncratic. What? Oh, hey, Steph. Light to see, take side. That's cool. Alex, right? I'm Steph. Hey. Just seeing if you need food or anything. Oh, no. I'm good. Thanks, though. Sorry I couldn't hang out at the record store. I've got some time now, though, if you want to chat. Oh, okay. So, are you, um, here with somebody? Or? That's Ryan's stuff. Apparently he ditched me for Gabe. They went to get first aid. <laughs> Being a hero again. Ryan's always doing that. <laughs> it's a Luke and family thing. Have you heard about Jed's rescue? It was a big deal. Back when he was a minor, he said- I can't imagine. Alex wants an earload of Haven trivia just now. Sorry, Jed. He doesn't like to brag, but there's stuff about it all over the place if you look. Interesting. Is that record store inventory? No, it's character stats. Do you know what a LARP is? Sure. Live action role play, right? Fantasy fighting in real life? Yep. He was talking about a LARP with Ethan. Yeah, it's next week. They're coming with me. It's their first time. I'm so excited. 
Would you ever want to join us sometime? Um, it sounds cool, but I'm sure I'd feel too self-conscious doing it. That's fair. Playing with the right people helps, though. Is that your shot? What is that? This is bedazzled kiwi schnapps. No one's ever ordered it, so Gabe's trying to get rid of it with the jukebox game. What's a jukebox game? It's like a short version of 20 questions, where you're trying to guess a song, guess wrong, you have to take the shot. <laughs> Ryan and I are going to play. You want to take his place? Dude, you're on. <laughs> yes. So, I'll pick a song. You have five yes or no questions before you have to guess it. Okay. Got one. Jukebox is all yours. So, what do you want to ask me? Hmm. I should flip through these and see what might be good to ask. Oh shit. Okay. Um. Let's go with this. <clears throat> oh, shit. Uh... So, does the song title have a curse word in it? <laughs> a curse word? Would that offend you? Answer the question. <laughs> no curse words in the title, ma'am. Does the band name have a person's name in it? Nope. Okay. Are there people on the cover? No. Yeah, no. You've got two questions left. Oh, shit. Fuck, uh... When was the last time you listened to this song? So, I guess we're breaking the yes or no questions only rule. Can you handle it? When was the last time I heard that song? Like two days ago. Gabe was working, so Shar and I put it on and danced like crazy to rub it in. Crap. That uh, doesn't tell uh, me anything. <clears throat> what did you expect? Last question. Yeah, all right, uh, I know. Fuck. Does the song have a long title, like four words or more? Yes. Oh, Interesting. Uh, That's your five. Ready to guess? Yeah. Let me look through one last time. Here's what I know. The band name doesn't have a person's name in it. Okay. No curse words in the song title. Okay. The song title is at least four words long. No people on the cover. And it could be a dance song. Think that's enough to figure it out? We'll see. Um, okay, let's guess. Is it that one? Oh, shit. No, it's not. Sorry. I thought I was going right. to get dialogue choices. Fuck. Let her drink me. It's not as bad as it looks. How was it? Oh my god. <laughs> That's like corn syrup mixed with paint chips? <laughs> At least you got a strange okay. taste bug. Thanks for playing. I'm really glad we did. Me too. I should get back to work. Okay. Why? I'm not an employee. Around you. The Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. Again? Really, I, 
I like starting over job. from scratch like this. Oh. Off, fucking goes. terrifying is what it is. Oh, you're angry. Damn boys, always fighting. Time to grow up. Should have seen Gabe go at it with Dad. He's come a long way. I can talk to him him about it. Glad you could fill in today. I, uh, okay. I guess not. Let's go and look for this whiskey. All right. Let's see if I can find Ducky's whiskey up here. Oh, it's up here. I don't feel like it's fake, yo. But it looks like Mr. John Chin left in Miguel County about six months after his arrival. Oh, gee, is, man. Is there like a forwarding oh, address so what on the file? Hell? I'm sorry, sir. That's not information we retain. Thanks again for calling the San Miguel County Clerk's Office. And have a pleasant afternoon. No, 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 no. Hey, don't. <sighs> Damn. Um, there's a lot of bottles right here. Is it one of these? This all looks really fancy, but no rye whiskey. All right. Hope it's somewhat Wait, obvious. What? Is that a real live dead deer? What? A live dead deer. All right. There's a fucking sword here, alright. Can I go up here yet? No? Um. Oh man. Gabe used to crush me. Anything here? Sure. No? Okay. At least there's nothing here. No? Okay. Um. Yeah, I, 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 I doubt this. Guess I kind of yeah. gave Gabe the runaround, huh? And you? Ooh, now I know where the ramen is. No whiskey, though. Oh, good. Oh. Nope. Damn it. Nothing. Okay, I am out of hiding spot for this. Wait, wait, wait. Ha! I'm surprised there's some left. Found this upstairs. In Gabe's couch? Really? Must have been a night. Many thanks, Alex. Well, it's my first day working here, so put in a good word for me, okay? <laughs> She's a go-getter. Can I pour you a glass? Uh, no, no. Allow me. To Miss Alex Chen, a most tenacious detective. To Alex. Cheers. Oh. <sighs> ah, yes. What a wonderful way to My get fired. You going to keep saying this? Haven is nice. Wish it felt like home. Hope we both get there soon. Still want to hit the trails later this week? Are you kidding? I've been waiting for this all year. I have a few favorites we can start with, and then we'll go from there. Teller's Peak. Unusually personable staff. Nicely done, big bro. Interesting. Interesting. 
shit. Now Max scared. Oh, At least Max. He's not freaking out anymore. He won't make me lose control. Oh, Max. My bad. Can I say to do something? Maybe. Okay. You idiot. You're gonna lose her. You're gonna lose her, and it's all your fault. At least he's right about something. I can't apologize to him? No? Alright. Oh. Holy shit. Can I talk to you real quick? So. What do you want? Listen. What happened upstairs was fucked up, right? From both of us. Where are you going with this? Look, Riley's headed over here. She's pretty heated. I, I don't think it helps to recap all the gory details, you know? You really are a piece of shit. Look, she's gonna break up with me otherwise. We've been together four years. She is the best thing that's ever happened to me. So please, help me out. I, I don't know, man. Shit. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god, look at your face. No, it's okay. Don't even. What were you thinking? Where's Gabe? Why do you give a shit? Because my boyfriend just got into a fight with him. I swear. This is it. You better have a good explanation or... We're done. It's, it's not my fault. I just wanted to talk to the guy. About what? About you! About why you guys are meeting behind my back. Okay. So how did the fight happen? The bastard sucker punched me. Okay. Um, not exactly sucker punched, but he definitely started it. Oh, God. Were you there too? Oh, fuck. Uh... Oh. Uh... Yeah, I was there. But, um, I need to get back to work. Sure. Alex, we'll, uh, we'll get out of your way. I can't believe you two. It sounds so childish. I know. I'm sorry. I just get so worked up thinking of you with him. Alex Chen? Uh... So, you were there when your brother assaulted Mac Loudon? Oh, hey. I'm Jason Pike, Deputy Sheriff. I'm gonna have to take you and your brother in for questioning. Uh, what? Mac assaulted Gabe. He's the one you want. <laughs> your face. <laughs> You should see your face. Oh, jeez. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. Uh, nobody's in trouble here. I, <laughs> even I just like to prank each other. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> I've never been pranked by a cop before. <laughs> you definitely got me. <laughs> Thanks for being a good sport. Can I buy you a drink? Um, maybe. I'm working right now. Well, I'll be at the bar. You want one, you just come by, okay?
Also, I could have called out Max bullshit, but I think the guy is suffering enough. Also, I don't want to be that kind of asshole. Also, are we done here? I think we're done. I have some advice. Are you finished up with everything you want to do? I think so. Yeah, I took care of everything you mentioned. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? Nah, the boys should be back soon. Speak of the devil. How you feeling? Not great. Not awful. I got Alex covering for you. For real? We need to talk. I'll be on the rooftop, okay? Okay. I think that's enough for today. I don't know what kind of place you worked at before, but you got a ways to go. You can't keep an injured man waiting. You better go upstairs. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Time to talk to Gabe. How's your jaw? Is the pain bad? Look, Gabe, I'm really sorry. Do you have a cooler under there? I like to hide beers around the house. Because, well, you never know. You never know what? You just never know. So, need a manager for your underground cage fighting career? Gabe, okay, I'm really sorry. How many bones have you broken? Like, on other people? Dude, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Don't apologize. I'm fine. Now that we're talking about it, I guess I never realized. That I'm a crazy person? No, come on. I never realized what your life must have been like. On, on your own. It was fine. You know, when I pulled you off the of Mac and you hit me, I, I was angry. But then I thought about how you took him apart. Like you've done it before. Kids in foster care fight a lot. I learned how to defend myself. I'd say.
I can tell there's something going on with you. Something troubling you. Maybe it's time you open up. I want to talk to Gabe. But what can I even say right now to explain what happened with Mac? Oh, crap. Decision, decisions. Pass or power? Hmm. You don't think I'm crazy, but fuck it, let's do it. Let's fucking tell him about it. There's something off about me. I know what other people are feeling. I can see these auras around them. And if they feel strongly enough, if they're angry or sad or afraid, I feel it too. And then I lose control. And this has happened? For a long time. Like Mac. I felt all that anger like it was my own. I think it was pretty clear that Mac was angry. It's more than that. He wasn't just angry at you. He's angry at himself. He thinks he's going to lose Riley. Did Riley tell you that? No. No one told me that. I just feel it. You sure it's not just, you know? It's not just in my head, Gabe. I promise. It's not from meds or stress or trauma or whatever. It's real. Can you tell what I'm feeling right now? It doesn't work like that. It's only when you feel really strong emotions. I don't expect you to believe me. No one does. So you can actually feel what other people are feeling? Yes. You're like going inside their heart. I guess I am. Dude, you have superpowers. Getting beat up and having no friends. That's a super curse, dude. Okay, okay. Maybe superpowers is a bit strong. It's just... I have no idea what's going on with people half the time. Charlotte's teaching me how to improve my emotional intelligence. But this, this is on another level. You can get in there. That's, that's really special. Special. That's really your take on all this? Totally. I mean, it's whatever you make it, right? But it doesn't matter what's going on. I'm here for you. Don't forget that. When were you going to tell me about the guitar? Oh, shit. You found it. 
It was supposed to be a huge surprise. Surprise? <laughs> well, what do you think? I love it. Thank you so much. Of course. Welcome home. Oh, hey, dude, what's up? Hey, is Ethan up here? No, he was heading home. He was, but I haven't seen him in a while. You don't think... Maybe? Fuck, maybe he did. What is it? I think he went up to the mountains. If he actually did, we need to move. Now. Let's go. Oh crap, there's a dog. Hush. Uh, hush, damn it. Someone call help. Also, I'm so glad that choice didn't matter. Fucking telling Gabe about Ethan the check. I'm so glad. Ethan? Ethan! Come on, pick up, pick up. This game using a fucking walkie talkie as a file. I think he is. That's not how walkie talkie works, damn it. This way. Been a while since I was up here. Oh shit. Uh how will it should we be? Should I be I don't know, freaking out right now? In my experience, freaking out is almost never advisable. <laughs> Any luck? We'll touch base with the safety team up at the site. We're gonna postpone tonight's blast until we find them. Oh. <laughs> at least we're not racing the clock. Oh good. Hey, you good? Charlotte's got to be losing it right now. She's tough. Always has been. I told you people Come ahead on. of time, take a look around. and you did not stop the kid. This kid. Can you imagine the shit we would have caught from Dad if we'd done anything like this? No, because I don't know him. Hey, we're going to find him. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Hey, thanks again for your help. Could have been a lot worse if you hadn't kept me in the loop. Of course. And yet, that choice didn't I'm gonna go fucking take a look matter. Around. All right. Let me know if you spot any sign of Ethan. Sure. I can do that. How was Ethan planning to get into the mine? Front door. Cool. A murder bar. Murder bar? Nope. 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 Super nope. Okay, Alec. They were gonna set off charges tonight. Thank God Gabe got a hold of them. Oh, Jesus Christ. How is the rubber zombie? The least creepy thing out here. I don't know, it's good to sit out of me though. Um Alright, I'm guessing over here. Imagine being trapped down there. Or actually come on, Ryan. Everyone is depending on you. Ryan won't let his fear get in the way. I'm glad he's here.
What happened here? Massive cave-in. Bunch of trapped miners. All nearly died. Jed led the whole team back to the surface. God. Yeah, that's the day Foreman Jed became local hero Jed. And then Typhon closed up this site, basically bought Jed the Black Lantern. Oh. Interesting. Huh. Oh my god. Same logo. Did Ethan base his comic on this place? Nothing obvious. Maybe we should... Notice anything? No shit. I'll be damned. The whole story is about Ethan's character breaking into a monster stronghold deep underground. Oh Sounds like the mind of me. Does it show where he went? Not sure. The comic ends with the monster hunter climbing a watchtower, which shows him where to go. There. The silo. I bet that's the tower. That's where he went. You're a genius. Yeah. Great find, Alex. Gabe, you want to take a crack at unlocking that gate? I'm on it. We should also be able to get to it through the processing building. If we can find a way in. Let's take a look, then. Okay. Ethan based his comic on this place. Oh shit, uh... A helmet! I think I'm looking for something closer to that big building. Oh, crap, uh... Hold on. Nope, nope. Okay. Okay. If the wall is an illusion... It's a zombie right there. So, zombies right here. So if the zombie is here, then... If Ethan really followed the path in his comic, finding him just became a lot more doable. So if I did that... It's over here, isn't it? Oh, okay. Over here then? Oh, I can speak with you. Alright, let's see here. Wait, so... Did Ethan... Oh, man. Uh, Alright. I think there's like a side door back there? I don't know. I guess there might be. Give me a hand. Okay. <sighs> you figured that out from a comic book? Yes. It's dumb, too. I'm gonna try to get the lights on. You try to figure out where Ethan went. Ethan must have come through here. How did he get out? I don't... No, let the comment, damn it. Uh so this got to be the walkway. Uh, oh my god, please tell me you didn't. Why do I feel like he did fuck yeah, well, parkour? Got some good news for you. He he did parkour, didn't he? What? Kinda wanna push all the buttons. Also, kind of scared to push any of the buttons. Oh. Ugh. Let's hope omens aren't really a thing.
Nope. Thanor doesn't battle any bed bugs. Okay, he's doing that. Mike? I wish I could run. There's a PS in it. Uh I think Ethan must have gone upstairs. No no shit. Pretty sure Ethan climbed these stairs. No shit. Let, let's just move on, damn it. We we got the clues we need. Uh Oh my fucking god. Um uh, Is that here? Not in the comic. Oh. Nope. Oh fucking Christ. It's fucking this, isn't it? Yes, it is. Fucking Christ. Did this child have a death wish or something? The jump from here to the conveyor belt? Oof. I think I'll find another way through. Looks like Ethan climbed the conveyor belt out to the silo. Why? Yikes. Heads up! <laughs> Yeah, turns out you gotta open it. Who knew? So one thing he never says. So I'll we just go down. Slowly walking over. So we're just going to leave get Jesus What took Christ. you so long? You never forget how to break a lock. It's like riding a bike. Where to next, Alex? Hmm. Oh shit, cutscene. Thanor looks out from the watchtower and spots the secret entrance to the stronghold. If we can just... There. That's where he's heading. That's by the ravine. Shit. Let's go. And this is why I refuse to have kids. Because kids will be stupid sometimes. Now, no, no offense to anyone that wants kids. We close? Think so. Ethan! 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 Hold on. 
Ethan? You okay? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of here. Just hang on. His fear is so strong. If I get near it... It's no good. We're too heavy. Shit. What about me? Alex. Are you sure? Remember how I taught you how to anchor a belay? Awesome. Show me. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm all right. You sure? It's okay if you're not. No, I'm good. No, I actually believe you when you say that. Alex, can you make eye contact with me? I'm gonna tie this rope around your waist. The other end is tied around your brother. He'll use that stump as a fulcrum to feed rope your direction. Follow? So far. Awesome. You're doing super good. Remember, slow is steady. Steady is fast. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Hang on, Ethan. I'm coming. Oh, shit. So do I ask you to have to go steady? Go back! You won't get hurt! No. I'm not going back without you. You're stuck with me until we're both safe. I also missed the dialogue choice almost. Also, that... Fucking noise. The emotional noise. Hey, Ethan? I'm here to help, okay? No! Get away! Shit. It's too much. I have to get him to chill out. <sighs> Ethan, I need you to calm down. Can you breathe for me? I should never have come out here! I was so stupid! Yes, you are. How the fuck did you get here Focus. when I tell them? Talk to me. You want to tell me how you got out here? I was trying to cross to the other side. The log fell. That's fine. That's okay. Let's talk about what comes next. Gabe's got us. We're not gonna fall. He's got the other end of the rope. What a wonderful thing to say. I can't move if I move. You're not gonna fall, buddy. It doesn't matter. What do you mean? He's not making any sense. I need him to calm down. We can't stay here, Ethan. We have to. It'll see me. If I move, it'll see me. What's gonna see you? What? I don't understand. He's right. I don't. I can't help him if I don't understand what he's afraid of. And the only way to understand is to feel what he's feeling. Oh, fuck. I can't believe this is happening. Oh, shit. I... I can do this. Oh. I can do this. So I don't have to hold, like... 
mouse. Oh my god. What's happening? It's like oh, I'm wow. seeing the world through his eyes. Oh, hello. I thought I could hurt the monster, but it's not too neat. I'm not just feeling what Ethan feels. I'm seeing the world like he sees it. Okay. I brought all this stuff. None of it will save me. Nine. Gordon would it be afraid, but he's just a sword. This is real. Okay. He's not afraid of the fall. Good. He's afraid of. Can't be real. Oh, but it looks pretty fucking real. Hey. Hey, I see it too, Ethan. The monster? I see it too. And I'm just as scared as you are. But Ethan, we're safe. You know why? It can't see me. Bangle of vanishing, just like my Thwarton. I thought that was just a story. Hell, some stories are true, like monsters. So, you're gonna hold my hand, all right? As long as you're touching me, you're safe. Don't look down, okay? We'll be done before you know it. They're headed back. Keep tight on the belay, Gabe. <laughs> Not over yet. Oh god. Okay. Oh shit. One step at a time. This cannot be good for the log. If, Alex? If you can hold one person. I'm still really scared. Yeah, yeah, I know. Shut up. Oh. Alex? My bad. Do you think the log will break? Yes. I don't know. But if it does, I am going to hold on to you so tight, okay? Okay. How is this law still fucking standing? A teenager and a child on this law should not be able to hold. And by saying that, I hope I jinx it. That will make the game very short. Okay, can we get them, please? Thank you. Oh, shit. Right? They're good, man. Tight grip. We're close now. I feel like a child should be in front of me. That's it. Come on. There you go. I got you. So there's more to this power, alright?
Oh shit! Well, that happened. Um, let's see here. Okay. Damn. I did not tell the truth. Oh well. Okay. Let's see other choices. Okay. 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 Um. Just checking my choices, yo. Like, thank you. Um. Oh, you did? Well, this is not what. But yeah, this is awkward. Just figure it out. Oh, can I stop this now? <laughs>